Hey kings and queens, thanks for watching Mondays with Jay and happy April 1st. So this week's topic is watch God blow your mind. Allow him to blow your mind. So I began to think about last week, which many of us celebrated Holy Week. And in the beginning of Holy Week started off with really like a celebration. It started off with praise. It started off with many people saying, Hosanna, save us. And a few days later, they were saying, they were turning their words, they were switching the words and they betrayed Jesus and said crucify him they wanted him to die and he hung on the cross and he died as we call it on Good Friday but that's not how the story ends and on the third day Jesus was resurrected and God was pretty much saying watch me blow your mind watch me blow the world's mind and many times in life we don't realize that God is saying I'm about to blow your mind but you have to have faith. I'm about to blow your mind, but you have to endure. I'm about to blow your mind, but you have to go through this test, but you have to go through this trial. So Jesus had to go through a trial and it was a real life trial, but in the midst of it, Jesus knew I have a mission. I have a destination. I know that God is going to do the impossible. Even though I don't want to do this in my flesh, I know that I have a purpose on this earth. So I want to encourage you that even though you may going through grieving, even though you may feel like this test and trial is too much for me and I feel like I'm not able to push through this. This business is not making any business. This ministry is struggling right now. I don't have um, the friends that I want. I don't have the supports that I need in life. I feel like I'm alone. But I want to encourage you to watch God blow your mind. Watch him do the exceedingly and abundantly. There is many scriptures in the Bible where there was a suddenly on the day of Pentecost. There was a suddenly on the third day. There was a suddenly when there were miracles. There was a suddenly the woman was healed. There was an immediately and God can do things suddenly. So I want to encourage you to hold on just a little while longer that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Your night may feel like months. Your night may feel like years, but joy is coming.